I co-wrote Love Triangle when I was 18 years old about my perspective of my parents' divorce and how it felt to be stuck in the middle of the two people that you absolutely love the most, your mom and your dad. I never thought that when I wrote this song that this song would be a single. I thought it would just be on my album, but when I found out that over 51% of marriages end in divorce, I knew that right then that this just wasn't my story, but so many of my fan stories, and so many, that's half of America, you know, and um, it's just a really important, it was a really important message that I think needed to be heard. So when I started singing the song out on radio tour and on shows and I mean I wrote it when I was 18 so I've been singing the song out for like four years. Fans would just come up to me and talk about how the song relates to them. I just had so many stories already without even my album being out or without it being a single and now that we've picked it as a single it's just been incredible you know seeing people's stories and um, really knowing that this is a song that needed you know, needed to be written, you know, and it's funny because I've never heard a song, there's been a couple songs out about divorce and country music, but none from the child's perspective, mm. you know, and, um, and I think it's really important to voice our opinions and um, it's just, my, my favorite part about being an artist and being a country artist is the fact that we can wear our heart on our sleeves and tell a story and um, we can be so vulnerable with our fans and that's the kind of artist that I always want to be. And so this song, just having this out as my new single is incredible. And the funny thing is, my when I wrote this song, my dad, he said, you know, I remember me and your mom trying to, we like would have conversations about making sure that you wouldn't feel the way we felt about each other. You know, that we would kind of like hide you from it. But I remember as a kid, you know, when my, when my dad dropped me off with my mom, it was more like, see you baby, see you mom. You know, it's just like very like, you know, cut and dry and, um, but that's just how it is, you know. One thing about going through, you know, being a child of divorce, I I looked at love in a wholly, totally different way. And um, I honestly didn't know, I, I thought, I would, oh, so I'm gonna get married when I'm 30, I'm not gonna worry about that. When I met my husband, Joshua, when I was 18, I knew there was something so special about him. And now being married and, and going through, you know, my parents going through a divorce and knowing what that feels like. I'm gonna fight for my marriage more than anything in my life because I know how much it hurt and I know how important it is to really work through something. I think it's easy to give up, you know, and it's really impor important to persevere. And um, I'm not saying that, you know, there's some cases where divorce is really what you should do, but I think for most, most people, they should really try to work hard for it, you know, because marriage is not always easy. And, um, and I think when I, when you're a kid of divorce, when, it, when you do get married, you really think about it. You know, like when I got married, I knew that this was what I wanted to do and it was with the right person. 